What is up, y'all? What is up? Yes, I just turned on my AC and this thing is squealing. I'm gonna have to really hit up Pioneer and be like, hey guys, I'm gonna need that fan sent over to me because this thing is really annoying. It only squeals on startups, but it's still pretty annoying and like sometimes throughout the night it'll randomly start squealing. So essentially what it is, is there's a, a fan motor right in here. So you have to take this whole thing off, which is right this, and it sits right in there, it spins the fan. Uh, and then that's what's squealing, unfortunately. But hey, to be cool in here, I'm willing to be okay with the noises. I'm kind of getting used to it, to be honest. We are in Indiana somewhere. I stopped, about to cook up some breakfast, more like lunch, but I did wake up pretty uh, late. Um, 70 over to Chicago was a mess. So then I just took 69 up here towards Fort Wayne and then just hop 190. I'm heading to Baldinsville, New York. So definitely have some miles to drive. But I figured I'd give you guys an update kind of what's going on on my extended run tank. I'm gonna try to clean my, uh, uh, what's it called? It's not a condenser evaporator, I guess. Uh, lines or whatever, thing they're clogged up. So it's not cooling as good, the truck, when I'm driving. And I'm not sure if I can keep this thing running while I'm driving. I don't know if it's good for it. I could just plug it up on the inverter that I installed recently and just run it and be really, really comfortable in here. But I just don't know how this would handle going down the road and working. So uh, uh, I'm trying to just fix my truck AC and have that work since the truck's already running. But yeah. For breakfast we're gonna have some new jasmine rice since unfortunately the rice i absolutely love and adore and have been eating for months can't seem to find that anywhere costco seems to be out of it i looked it up it's almost like it was exclusively sold on costco other than that it's on amazon and whatnot which is kind of sketchy for outrageous prices i did buy this tried some last night it's pretty solid also pretty good uh and then other than that as usual bought some protein candy bars pretty cheap costco is the spot man costco is the spot but yeah anyways let's hop outside show you kind of uh new things with the truck if you haven't seen we got a old new seat some new floor mats i'm gonna install a watermelon down here watermelon light got some new switches here as you can see and then need to replace some of these dash lights for which i bought some new uh led bulbs from amazon really cheap got those there got my good old sink yes i'm still in my shoes in here i haven't been cleaning i've been kind of lazy but it's all right uh, let's hop outside since i washed the truck get an opportunity to show you it's really hot as you can see it's actually cleaned out for once this is uh old new to me bumper i think the only thing really left that i would do to this truck is maybe get stacks and fix that one stack that's lower than the other one and it's sitting kind of crooked but it hasn't bothered me enough so far but yeah essentially the truck does good for me you know this freaking uh fender here keeps being taken out that one's fine, but this one keeps getting taken out and I cannot figure out why. It's almost like my truck leans on this side more. I do have a new one to put on, but I don't want to just put it on and have it get bent, which is kind of weird. But I guess more importantly, this is what I want to focus on. So this, I haven't shown this in previous videos. This is an external run fuel tank that I installed. And essentially this is just a bracket. It's bolted down with, with U-bolts. And then, uh, as you can see, it's got a shut-off valve and just a 90-degree thing. And as you can see, there's there's gas in there. I just fill it up, like, five gallons, and this will last me for a while. Like, five gallons will probably last me a whole week, even if I use it, you know. Especially if I don't use it on, on uh, my air fryer now, since I have an inverter, this is going to last me five six days on the road five gallons and five gallons is sixteen dollars so you know that's cheap and then the way it runs oh yeah i forgot i don't have a step here the way it runs is the line goes in here right through up there and then quick release 
release when I'm doing oil changes on the generator I can just uh, quick release it and take the generator out and this actually is, is useless this uh, exhaust so I can just take that off because it blows right out here so yeah I mean so far it's been working absolutely great it's been amazing the only thing is I need to put more support on this because it rubs against that but other than that everything has been absolutely amazing and and it's so comfortable to actually sleep and then another thing in case you haven't seen the other videos I want to show you guys that I did this is more on the mechanical sides of the truck that I've been replacing it was kind of a pain but something that had to get done let's open this heavy hood yeah there's a there's a hole right here one of the times when the radiator was placed when the clamps was turned up and it was rubbing and made a hole and I just bondo it up which I'm gonna have to redo this and just fiberglass it instead because bondo cracks as you can tell but yeah as you can see there's a new water pump on there there are new clamps new hoses right there this pipe also is new new hose new clamp I replaced the thermostats new hose and new clamps up there uh, what else there's a new hose from the water filter to the water pump and then there's also a new hose can't see it but new hose from the radiator to the pump down there and then I also installed a new drain valve on that pipe right there so it's definitely good you know and, and I also have an easy valve for oil which makes a life a lot easier um, but yeah it's been working great and this year as you can tell that's my drain for my mini split it just goes in there and just drips on the floor where the regular AC also does but yeah I mean it's nothing fancy it's just the regular old work truck I've definitely been fixing things one step at a time and it's been working good um, I'm waiting on this guy I'm waiting on this one family friend to come from vacation and he has a shop here actually in Fort Wayne um, I'm gonna get new injectors because I think uh, I can definitely hear a misfire and uh, the truck was in the shop with him and he said that that would probably help me out he said you know the fuel savings that you'll probably get from new injectors will pay for itself uh, so I'll definitely do that and then after that I'll have to reseal my valve cover as you can tell it's leaking there a little bit but yeah I haven't really been messing with that because I want to get those valve covers those injectors I mean and then this here this whole jazz here has been good no leaks as you know I replaced these new hoses drag link definitely definitely did a decent amount of work to this truck you know somewhat of a short period of time but most of the things I did to this truck were, were to improve my comfort on the road and then others were just well it just made sense to do them mechanically so you know if you're wondering oh if I buy a used truck etc etc so it's worked out for me you know it's my interior I bought some new hinges I'm gonna replace these hinges and then I'm gonna install the new door panels and then uh, the funny thing is there's actually a grease point right here yeah it looks like a mess but there's usually a plastic cover here and I don't think that grease point was ever ever touched I discovered it on uh, Frontliner Classic Facebook group so I was like okay that's there and then I greased it up and I just left the plastic cover off because I want to have access to it and it doesn't bother me that it's not there but yeah I think what we're gonna do is go put some eggs to cook and I think I'm actually gonna try plugging my air fryer on my inverter because my air fryer is like 1500 watts and my inverter is 3000 but I do have 200 amp fuses so we shall see how that works out but yeah or I think uh, I think I might actually just eat some rice and some tuna to be honest instead of cooking you know I can do a microwave meal real quick but yeah let's see let's see what we're gonna do let's get to it all right so i changed my mind after all i didn't want to cook eggs i didn't feel like cooking right now whipping out the air fryer and whatnot so 
I know some of you, this is nasty. You would never eat this. But to me, I actually like tuna and rice. It's going to be my breakfast slash lunch. Greek yogurt, triple zero, and the water. Uh, I think it just kind of shows that if you want to stay healthy on the road and not become a freaking overweight person, you know, I mean, if you don't care about what we can overweight, that's cool. But if you're gaining a lot of weight and you're complaining about it, I think the issue is a lot of people know what to do not to get fat, but it's too much work and it doesn't taste as good as Arby's or Subway or whatever. So they just don't like this meal, for example. It's a freaking microwave rice. Uncle Ben's microwave rice and two packs of tuna. And that's your meal. And I just slap some mayonnaise on there and I'm gonna chug this down and get going. That's it. I mean, there's nothing special about it. I've been trying to eat healthier and go to gym and whatnot because I don't want to be out of shape, man. I used to work out all the time and your, your, your mental health is much more there like when you're in shape physically you feel better you feel like doing more things you're gonna accomplish more in life when you're eating this nasty food and you're overweight you just become lazy and trucking itself by nature is gonna turn you into a lazy person so eating fat food is not gonna help but yeah that's my meal for the day uh, so let's eat this and uh, get going so first a little trick I had no idea I even had these buttons here. Second, I messed up. I shouldn't have started this while on the road. This is a mess. Look at this. And this is your core, I guess, your AC condenser or whatever you call that. And this thing is so clogged up, especially from the fan side. I don't think you can really clean this good enough. And I think just replacing it, period might just be a way better option yeah this is an absolute mess but the worst thing is to replace that i think you got to remove the whole dash and that does not look fun at all because i've removed the dash before and that was mess but if i go to remove that i'm going to replace the whole age back in here so yeah i think i'm just going to leave it as is right now and uh get to driving i try to clean as much as you can as much as i could as you can see and but yeah, it's completely caked up here where the fan is. Yeah, let's just uh, start this thing up. As you can see, all these panels in here. I just made a mess in here. Let's get going. We got some driving to do.